first condition that I was aware of is I was getting uh, slight blood blisters, what appeared to be blood blisters on the inside of my lip. And the tongue started to swell a little bit. But uh, I wasn't particularly uh, upset with it until it got to the point where I felt like I had a marshmallow in my mouth all the time. So uh, at that point, I said, well, something has to be done. Mr. Zemanski is a wonderful gentleman who came with his wife to the office and had a major problem for many years. He came with something called a venous vascular malformation of his tongue. He had problems both with speech articulation and swallowing. And it got to be large enough where it actually caused airway obstruction. On the right-hand right side of the tongue, there was a swelling that, would, that enlarged the tongue to, I'd say, three times the size, normal size. Now, the problem was, uh, one of the smaller problems was that I used to snore at night, and my wife used to have a fit with that. Uh, and I, she, from what she tells me, I didn't know it, but I would actually stop breathing. It's funny, the reaction I get from most doctors when they looked at it was, wow. <laughs> so we went to Dartmouth, and uh, the first man I saw was a surgeon. And after he gave us the wow, and called in one of the students who also wowed it. He said, look, he says, uh, surgery is out of the question. He said, you would bleed to death. He says, of course, the extreme situation he says, would be to remove the whole tongue. So the surgeon turns around, he says, oh, he says, I can give you a name on Long Island. He says, if that's where you'd be more comfortable. So he gave us the name of Dr. Setman, Long Island Jewish Hospital in Manhattan. He said, well, Dartmouth had forwarded all of their findings to him, and he agrees with what they said. And he said, but I'll tell you what, he says, I know a doctor in the city, he said, well, who can do this? When he first presented, he had been notified by many surgeons that this was very risky surgery due to the potential blood loss. Uh, I didn't see that uh, quite in the same perspective because I've done many of these before and I know, uh, and we have special techniques to avoid any sort of major blood loss with this. Uh, I took this in stride and uh, we really didn't have any problems in proceeding ahead with this. I was very impressed right off the bat. I mean, he, was a, he had a quiet confidence about him, and he didn't even wow me. I mean, he just took it in, in, you know, in stride. So I assumed that this man knew what it was all about. In minimizing the blood loss uh, for this type of lesion involving the tongue, what we use is a vascular clamp that isolates the area to be removed that will decrease the size of the tongue and allow Mr. Szymanski to uh, to perform better as far as articulation and swallowing and breathing. It cuts off the blood supply in a very atraumatic manner and we can do the resection of the tongue, the removal of that portion of the tongue with minimal if any blood loss and then uh, over sew the, uh, uh, the margins of what we resected and there is, as I say, very minimal uh, loss of blood and it's a very safe procedure. It also cuts down on the amount of swelling that could potentially cause a problem with the airway requiring a tracheostomy after a procedure like this. And we've never had to perform that in this type of procedure. First words my wife said to him was, I have to thank you because he no longer snores. There was a, a marked uh, increase in his ability to sleep comfortably. The snoring had, uh, had disappeared and any sort of uh, perceived respiratory obstruction by noisy breathing really was markedly resolved. When I saw Dr. Persky, it was the whole ball game changed. I mean, it was just a, a point where uh, I felt confident with his ability, and he, he gave me that confidence. I think a patient first gauges a surgeon's abilities by the moment he walks in the room, and how he presents himself, and how confident he feels in himself, as well as what he presents to the patient. I was very pleased with the way the whole situation handled. The hospital was great. Dr. Persky certainly was, proved he was a, a master mechanic in terms of what he did, and uh, I, I, I couldn't have been happier. Thank you.